Hey, in the morning, everybody. Uh, I've been watching a lot of your videos. Uh, I'm amazed at how much content we're putting out there, how you're staying connected with your students. A few people have asked me, how do I make a better video of my face? Uh, I don't have a lot to work with, but let me tell you uh, exactly how I would make a video if I were making a video that I was gonna put out there for my students to watch. The first, the most important thing is lighting. You want to get into a situation where you don't have a bright light behind you. Uh, so that could be a, a lamp or something like that, or it could be a big window. I'm sitting in my sunroom, and uh, this room has three windows, I'm sorry, three walls with windows around it, but I'm sitting with my back against a wall that doesn't have a window at all. I also, right where I'm sitting, there's actually just white space behind me. You might not have a space like that, but try to find a, a space where there's a light in front of you. Boy, if you have a room like I have this, I, I built this room just for pictures and things like that. Uh, if you have a room where you have a, a nice solid background, that's even better. Like I said, this room has windows uh, all the way around. Uh, I'm just using my laptop and you can see uh, there's nothing special about this room other than nice light. Second thing, try to get your camera up higher than it would be if it was sitting on your desk and you were sitting at your desk. Uh, what I've done is I've placed my uh, laptop on a chair and then under the chair, I ordered a couple things from Amazon that really helped me out. Actually, what I ordered from Amazon wasn't that important, but it came in an Amazon box. What I did is I set up a couple of the boxes on top of each other, and I set my laptop on top of that. That way, you're looking at me more right in the eye instead of up my nose. And in the eye, if you can get eye level, especially if you can see like the round uh, part of the bottom of your pupil, that's an ideal camera height whenever you're recording your face. Last thing, before you post your video online, watch it. And if there's something wrong with it, just redo it. If it's a three minute video, it's gonna take you three minutes and that might save you saying something that's not factually correct, you know, in a, in a permanent kind of way. Remember, no matter how you do this, somebody can download this video, keep it forever. Uh, the other thing is you don't wanna embarrass yourself. I mean, Check your teeth, make sure you don't have something in your teeth. Check your hair, make sure that, you know, you're not doing something goofy with your hair. You don't want your uh, students seeing you at a bad hair day or anything like that. Uh, watch your video, make sure everything looks the way you want it to look, and then post it online for all your students. And if you have any questions about these three steps, just let me know.